Hey, what's happening? New review today. Very excited to have the DA65 Battlecomboy V Max. So, this is the latest in the Diaclone line, the biggest friggin' box we've gotten. I've got a new setup here, an old setup just to show it off, uh, kind of maxing out the space I have here because this box is stupid big. So this is the, uh, as the name implies, Battle Convoy. So it's the uh, Optimus type Diaclone homage. So very excited to show them off. And as always, we'll start with the box, which, like I said, just way, way too big. Um, but yeah, some nice uh, photography there of the toy. There's some various modes. You get that on the side you know the top is you know pretty typical diaclone box you get that on that side i don't even have to show you the back or the bottom but uh that's the back with all the product uh, shots and all the stuff he does and turns into and includes and uh, all that stuff so yeah very very big boy and uh actually the figure itself not not that big but uh just for comparison here for the box i happen to have another diaclone box this is the tri rambler red chaser and you know teeny tiny teeny tiny in comparison so yeah let's go ahead and uh take a look at the figure and uh all of his stuff Okay, so here we have DA65 out of the box. I got him fully assembled with the trailer. I've got some additional Diaclone uh, figures attached, as well as some accessories from DA62 and 64, just to give you a sense of, you know, what you can manage uh, with a bunch of stuff on there. And, uh, of course, this is the tri rambler mainly for scale this is the uh burrs uh riser i think one uh also just kind of to show off uh what we got in totality uh with some other stuff so <laughs> just you know it's a lot it's big it's huge so uh just wanted to give you a good sense of everything here so, uh, but of course, we'll just, what we'll do is we'll break it down bit by bit and uh, we'll take it from there. Just like all my other Diacorn reviews, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to go through everything, of course. I'll try to get to as many uh, setups as I can, um, but uh, be it. we'll start here with uh, Battle Convoy himself, the VMAX. So, uh, let me go ahead and uh, get him unattached and we'll move these things and I do have him here for a reason because this guy is actually in the instructions and so there's basically everything uh, this this and this is all from the uh, DA64 uh, set, but everything else is included in the set. So, just so you're aware, those are the only additional parts I have currently on it. So, yeah. So, the uh, the way it attaches to the full truck mode, or the, I think it's MAV mode, uh, mobile attack vehicle, I think, uh, I forget exactly what the acronym stands for is it just pegs into these you see he's got some holes there in the back so and it's very secure but you see there's just a couple of pegs and they'll attach to those those holes back there so so we'll just move this giant trailer it weighs a ton out of here and we'll focus on the cab. So before I get to that specifically, I just do, uh, since I'm not going over the specific things that go, that, that you get in the box, just because of, you know, 
for practicality's sake, uh, we will, um, I'll show you, uh, the important things. So, so of course, your typical bag of goodies, you do get, uh, stickers, which, uh, most of them have been applied. The only ones that have not been applied are the numbers. So he only comes with number one. And I did apply all of the magnets, but you still get some magnet here. So if you want to get creative and cut away, you can apply some stickers, uh, some magnet stickers to uh, anything, anything else you want. So that's neat. It's really cool. So you get that. You get your pretty hefty uh, instruction booklet, you know, with a bunch of instructions here. As you can see, Verge Riser 1 is in here. So that's why uh, I've got a mount. But yeah goes over everything you get that's that's everything you get in the set just to, instead of showing it off there there's everything all the pieces and it comes in a couple different trays um that you get as well so and then of course the real star of course as i always say of the show the catalog so some really nice artwork there and then that's really nice some nice product shot there and then you get a better look at kind of what's on the back of the box so you know kind of all the stuff he does so it's a flight combat machine driving combat machine multiple so multiple attack vehicle um, the large mobile base battle mothership rhino grander the scramble link mode which is how i had it configured prior and just the container machine pod grander so just by itself and of course the battle convoy v max himself and you know it'll show you kind of integrations and stuff all that so and then of course you can buy multiples they're selling these separate now and you can make the trailer even bigger and it does come with additional uh, clips here to do that with so yeah pretty cool all right now that that's out of the way we'll take a look at uh v max here so let me just readjust so that we can get a better look at him and as far as the the paintwork and everything uh, it's it's so good it's so nicely done um, and it's, it's not very surprising, uh, considering uh, it's a diaclone. So the, they don't ever really skimp on stuff like that. And, uh, it shows really, really well done. So, you know, and he looks like, um, a futuristic Optimus Prime, you know, a uh, red cab and blue legs and, you know, uh, back of the truck so it's got a ton of guns a ton there's three right there these two these two those up top you know so that's a little detail on the bumper it's cool paint all that stuff even the wheels are nicely detailed so yeah really cool really cool so, I'm happy with this by itself, and then the trailer is just uh, above and beyond. So, let me just bring in some uh, comparisons here. Here we got the Tri Dasher again, just uh, for a sense of scale, with another figure in the line. So, this is another land based vehicle, so you see how much bigger he is. Optimus. So, this is uh, I think the ne the Netflix Optimus. So it's it's, it's Earthrise. So, uh, you know he's not that big of a figure overall. Maybe leader or older Voyager. So, yeah, pretty pretty decently sized. So yeah, not bad at all. 
And uh, for this guy, what we'll do is I'll split him into his uh, different vehicle modes and uh, we'll go over those. And then we'll combine, transform, do all that stuff. So let me just get that going here. Okay, so we'll take a look at the uh, flight mode and the uh, driving combat mode. The flight combat and driving combat separately. Uh, so uh, these pods will deta detach. This one will it'll just connect right there. It's a typical uh, bullet mode. So we can take a closer look at that. Uh, these guns will move up and down just a bit. You know? And... Uh, this the transition cockpit will open. See the little driver there. You get two drivers in the set. You get one in lighter blue, and then the separate the uh, second one is in darker blue. But he'll sit in there pretty good. Yep, pop pop right in there. But yeah, pretty cool. But uh, that'll give us access to the button. And we can push the button to detach. Just like most of the other guys there. So that'll unlock that. And then you can pop that hinge joint back in. And now you got them into separate modes. So... Uh, since I have him in this configuration right now, I'm just going to bring in the, bring in the trailer again. So I'm going to just raise the camera just a little bit. I haven't detached any of the components here, uh, but like I said, this one and this one and this one. Do not come with a set so just so you're aware and right here these panels will, co will come down and they're a little tricky to get out so what i'd like to do is take one of his guns there's that little thin but you know cool design i'll show you how those attach to the driver in a moment and just get that into that port so I can give myself some space there. And yeah, there's some really nice detail in there as well. So yeah, this whole thing, very cool, very detailed. Um, big old chunk of trailer. So, yeah, and of course I've got this attached just to get this on top, um, but you could store this inside. I've just got a bunch of stuff in there uh, already set up, So, but this uh, whole platform, we'll take a look at it in a moment, uh, you know, we'll generally store in there. But uh, you see he's got a little port there, and that'll go... For that and you just stick them on here and there you got the mothership so that's basically what you're looking at for that nothing too crazy and then of course uh, you could store the second piece in the back here so maybe it makes sense to look at this separate so you can store this in the back So this is the driving unit. So this is what we're looking at here. The whole thing rolls really well. And it's just really flat, but you know, overall pretty cool. Uh, these are on little uh, swivels and they spin so you can, you know, change up the direction for these. And the way they attach is they will uh, hang on here and then 
the little rail system will slide into so they're not going anywhere. And uh, uh, they're designed in a way to give it just enough clearance for the wheel. So, well, yeah, pretty cool. And then, of course, he does have his a little attack mode that you could do. You want to open these up a little bit. And separate those. Now you've got more guns. So really no use for that outside of just I have more guns now. So, but yeah, can be done. Now, as far as this piece, this is a medical bay, uh, <laughs> medical bay, medical table. I guess it's a medical bay too. Uh, and you can attach this to that as well. Uh, this will come down and it'll move up and down and you could sit a figure on here and it's got little arms that, you know, you can manipulate in different ways. It's a light or some other kind of strange thing. And then, you know, welder type blaster type repair thing. So, yeah. And then on sliders as well. And you could also use this as a launching system. So that's how I had the the uh, Verse Riser on there. So, but there's a couple of attaching points. There's two, and then if it's lifted up, there's one. So, give you some options on how you want to attach it as well as some holes. This whole thing ratchets up and down. So, and so you want to do is you want to just come over here to this and attach that to these holes. Same. Same holes we use to attach the trailer. And you can even move these up like this. And there, he's got more attack options as well. And you can use that, like I said, to launch uh, aerial figure if you want, uh, something like that. So, yeah. So back to the top half, what you wanna do is uh, just move these to the side like this and then he's got wings that will open pretty much everywhere as well as these right here and I know I will be missing a bunch of stuff with this review just because there's so uh, much to go over this will come out just a tad just just because so and then he does have uh landing gear that comes down and the nice thing is he's got little rockets in there little painted rockets that they had no business putting in there but they did so that's cool and as far as more attack options he's got missiles right here hidden missiles so very cool very very cool so yeah there's that Oh, pretty relatively convincing uh, flight mode and he's just balanced enough that he'll, he'll stand on that. He's a little back heavy but uh, he will balance on his little skids so that's pretty cool. A closer look at this pod. Pretty nice. You know, same connectors and stuff. This will open up and this one does have the bar so you can uh, secure him in there. And then there's that other driver. So in dark blue, you know, full body blue. So, yep. Kind of a shame you only get the two drivers for such a large set, but uh, can't even fit in all the cockpits or anything. But you know, it is what it is. And this attaches the same way as they all do with the little rail system. For some reason, this... A uh, bullet core is just a little bit uh, thicker than the other ones, and I think that's probably because it's the main one that attaches to the chest. Um, but yeah, guns are separate pieces, like always. So, giving you lots of options. So, yeah, yep. And uh, just to go over this part uh, quickly, this is in the instructions, so I might as well show it off. I think it's like, yeah, it's like that. Haven't actually tried this yet, but 
It's in the instructions. Let's try it. So you change up the look like that. And then, and then you can bring in the Vertis riser if you have it. Take that off. And what's nice is he's got a little hidden uh, adapter there. So you can, uh, these guns might, might get in the way here. You can attach this on there. And I don't think that this has a dedicated name. Any instructions if it does, I just missed that. But you know, it's a larger flight mode. So that's pretty cool. You can do that. You can put that on there. Oops. You know, and a totally different setup. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. But let's get back to the core bot and get it transformed. Okay, now that we got him back in his uh, uh, MAV mode, we can just transform from here, so which is nice. So what you want to do is uh, just like Optimus generally get these, what well, will be his arms out of the way, separate his legs. Bring those down. These will collapse in like that. As you can see, let's raise our camera just a little bit. And as nice as these wheels will come up and fold in, and then that'll go down. So, clever. Bring up his feet and turn him around. He's got legs. And he's got two rotation points here. One right here at the waist. And then this piece will rotate as well. So, probably easier to get rid of that. So, rotate him like that. And... Just want to get a little higher up. Bring his arms, his arms will fold up and then and snap in place there. So that. And you want to fold out the wings again so you can have access to open up his forearm and rotate his hand out. Same deal. Same deal. And then his head gets flipped up. This gets pushed back. This whole thing rotates. And then sits right there. It doesn't really uh, uh, peg in or anything. It just kind of uh, sits there. But it sits nice and flush. It's you know, it's not bad. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, there's his base uh, robot mode, and of course you don't have a place necessarily for the second core so you just put that to the side incorporate them with the uh, trailer if you want whatever you want you want to do so uh, but there he is looking pretty freaking good his head sculpt is great and he does have some uh, pretty awesome light piping so that's not paint that's light piping and yeah some you know gold some nice uh nice details they're definitely looking like prime so and the way the guns sit pretty cool you can always take them off put them in his hands and he does have the uh opening hands as well so if you want to do that you could do that so pretty cool
Yeah, not bad. Articulation wise, I mean, he's a Diclone figure, so it, he's just chock full of it. Uh, you know, head, arm, elbow. Um, nothing at the, uh, uh, the wrist does, but the forearm, nothing at the forearm, uh, but the wrist opens and closes. Um, he's got the waist, of course, legs back and forth, in and out, pretty far, pretty good knee, and then that foot up and down, and pivot just to one side. But, you know, definitely enough to get him in some pretty dynamic poses. Now, if you're a stickler for, um, for the prime look, you can change it up a bit to have him more reminiscent of prime. You can switch these cockpits out as well. So, so that you have this one in here instead. That'll give him a little grill. He does, of course, have <laughs> some guns there in the front, but it's all red now. And you can uh, put these. He's got holes there on his shoulders, like smokestacks doing that. You can put them in the back as well, if you prefer that look for Prime. But, yeah. You definitely have options. You can even open these up makes his legs a little chunkier, but it does reveal all of that nice paint detail there, and it covers up the wheels a bit. So, kind of looking more like Prime. And of course, uh, this, uh, you can attach it back on his butt. Um, you can just stick it this way, have it going down as well, uh, but kind of between his legs now. If you rotate this, I've found, It gives them some extra guns in the front, and that's not a bad look either. Some tummy guns. <laughs> and uh, then you can't attach it that way. So, um, you know, definitely more of a prime. If you don't like the chunky legs, you can just, you know, you have a lot of options, which is nice. So, very, very cool. So, just get them back to something more standard. And we'll do uh, some comparisons for size. Okay, so here is Earthrise Optimus. So your prime comparison. So he's just a little bit bigger than a Voyager scale figure. Not by too much. Here is Red Chaser, the Tri-Rambler Red Chaser. So uh, another Diaclone figure. Uh, it's kind of a, it's part of the uh, Triverse uh, line. So it's more of a standardized size. It's a little bigger than that. Here he is with a bigger bot. It's about the same size as uh, the Cosmos Battle. The uh, Die Battles Cosmo whatever cosmos i forget his name but uh, it's the first release die battles with the uh, extra stuff on on them in white and here he is with the verse riser uh base robot mode so yeah so good sense of just how big this dude is Okay, so now we'll take a look at uh, this guy, the uh, pod, what is it, the pod grandeur, I don't know, the, the trailer. Um, and like I said, this uh, is an extra piece that it does come with that I just attached. You can attach a little uh, cockpit to that. So if you have your extra cockpit, you can uh, stick it on there, you know, if you want to do that. leave that off for now and uh this is going to be a little tricky to film because this is going to open up very large so we'll try our best 
to maximize the space. So it's got little clips here. And uh, before I get into that, um, you know, some, like I said, the, some really nice paintwork all over the place. Uh, you can have this, uh, I got a couple of, this will open up, I got a couple of the, uh, the guys from the 62 set in there. Uh, man in the cockpit. This girl with her little, uh, she's looking at him. So <laughs> and she's got the ball jointed head, so it moves around a little bit, but yeah. And then this will close tight and uh, kind of a pain to open it up as well. Kind of tight, but it's nice. It, it's secure. So, but uh, you do have these clips on the side. So you want to open those up. And then you also have these, which also just just have in there. So as you can see, and then you've got this clip system as well. So if you wanted to take both of those off, you can separate both of these halves. So you can do that. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show you here is you do get a little space for a bike. And you get one of those on every side, every track. So I've also just got the 62 uh, motorcycle in there. So, but, so let's see <laughs> so you want to open this up and then this will open as well you can lay it flat let's see you can lay it flat or you can um, do that you know it's up to you so but you want to open it up and then, yeah, this is going to be next to impossible. <laughs> He's off my table. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. I don't have a ton of space here. <laughs> All right. So, uh, but yeah, these uh, these will open up. And this is everything we're going to uh, be looking at here. So, kind of uh, get a good shot inside of what we have. Now, I do have these in here these are the only thing that we have extra uh outside of you know the figures and the um the actual dianauts that doesn't come with the set so so yeah some really nice details in there um you get little consoles right there so and then that is a sticker and you get little seats and, and all of these consoles do have clear back stickers. There's uh, there's four of them, two smaller ones and two larger ones. And each one has a little hole for a seat. Uh, here's another one of those things. So you can put a little cockpit there. These are all stickers. That's some paint. Um, but, you know, some nice details there. So, pretty cool. And then these... Uh, you do have to assemble. They're on a little track system. This doesn't come down, uh, but it does slide, you know, back and forth. So, which is cool. And then this little piece is, uh, it's just an extra piece. You can see kind of how this works. So you can use this in a variety of ways, uh, but, you know, if you wanted to have an extra, um, level here you could do that you could do it that way however you want to do it but you also get an adapter so you can attach uh both of these right next to each other so and these uh you get four of these um or six of these uh four in black and two in red and as you can see you can attach i uh, one of the pods on there you can attach it to both ends and you know you can imagine it's kind of opening on that side so something like that you can also detach these and plug them into the other side over there so that's something you can do so finally i just want to show off that you can open this up and then this let's just attach this this will just rotate so it can rotate and this whole thing can come down on this rail system I'm just 
got to get it right. And then it's kind of like an elevator. So, and then of course that can open up and get that back in there. And there is a button right here. You can sort of see it. Red button. You want to press that and the whole thing will come up. So, oops. And you also get um, two of these pieces, which uh, just hold bikes and you can attach them into the floor. All of these black pieces are magnets, magnet stickers that you can attach as well. So you have uh, lots of different points for them to stand. And you can take this whole thing off, it'll open up, and there's another attack vehicle. And you got ports all over the place for that as well. So you can attach weapons and whatnot to that. So. Very cool. Very cool. So yeah, uh, there is the rest of it. Uh, just too big, too big, too, <laughs> to fit on my review station. You can bring this in as well. There's attaching points. You can put it um, on here if you wanted to and uh you know mount a figure on here you know if you wanted to the heat might be a little too big but you know you could do something like that and then have these repairs repair them and these same connectors as all of the other pieces so you know slides repair them, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, very cool, very cool stuff. So, and these are also detached as well. So, lots of options, lots and lots of options. I think uh, for this set, I did get the uh, DA64, uh, and uh, which has the, these, these two, pretty much these two um, mechs in there, you know, and a couple extra guys, as well as 62, which is just a pack of the uh, the actual Dinots. 64 also came with those extra bits, uh, you know, the missile pods and, and more cannons and stuff like that. It's not necessary if you want to get this set, because this set comes with too many things to even include in here. Uh, as you can see, all this real estate's taken up. You can't put this in here inside of it while you have all the computers and stuff set up. So you kind of have to choose what your setup is going to be prior um, to assembling it. But you know, uh, the way I have it set up now, you can close everything up with the stuff inside, which which is nice. So there's there's definitely the more you mess with it, uh, the more options you're going to find. But and yeah, it's very secure. So we'll just get everything assembled back and uh, take a quick overview. One last thing I forgot to mention here, and uh, it's kind of minor, but you you can get his arm out because it's on that same rail system. And if you bring in, you know. A big guy's arm you can give him giant gorilla arms and because he's got that same attach point you can take his legs off uh, give him different legs and all that so you know there's options to be had there you could potentially just move his head out of the way and use a different head that attaches to a core as well but then his head's gonna be hanging out back there so uh, but, you know, there's lots of customization options with regards to that, as always. So, yeah, just one final thing I wanted to, to show off. One final thing. There's probably a million things I missed. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Let me know in the comments section, of course, uh, what I missed and uh, what you've managed to do with this guy. Overall, this is a fantastic set. It's uh, really good. Uh, you know, uh, the price is a little steep as always with Diaclone, uh, but it's, it's, it's absolutely worth it 
just for the trailer alone. The trailer is everything. And the amount of things you could do with the mobile base setup uh, is, is gigantic. It's crazy. So, um, and the quality, of course, on all the Diaclone stuff is, is incredible. So, uh, I don't have any issue with it at all. And considering the price and the size of the box itself, the stuff you get in the box compared to a set like Gigantor that cost more, um, and was in a smaller box, you know, had less components to it. Ultimately a bigger, bigger figure, much bigger figure. Uh, but, um, you know, I'll, uh, there's a lot more stuff here. There's a lot more stuff to do and a lot more options to be had. So, yeah, definitely a huge recommend. I got this from thechosenprime.com. Um, a huge recommend, I would say, for anyone who's collecting the Diaclone line. It's a must-have. And if you're uh, just a big Optimus fan, and, uh, yeah, you, you got to have him. He's, he's definitely uh, fills that niche of Diaclone Optimus uh you know so definitely definitely happy with my purchase a uh, huge recommend like i said in the comment section let me know what i missed what you've done with your version of a battle convoy and uh, give a like on the video and i'll see you guys next time with uh you know hopefully a more manageable review